Hello Virgo, Simon Rising, and Venus, and welcome to another reading. Let's see the overall energy for your reading for today. So we do have Give Your Relationship a Chance, Work on Your Partnership. We'll see why you're getting this card and how it resonates with your reading for today. But we are going to focus on you first, Virgo, and then we'll jump over to your person. Just keep in mind the roles can be reversed. Also keep in mind time is fluid. So this could either currently be happening or may be happening at a later date. How does Virgo currently view this relationship? Okay. So we have the Tower. We also have the Five of Pentacles as well as a Judgment card for you. You could be dealing with a Scorpio strongly. Possibly a Taurus. Doesn't necessarily have to be the case. Let's look at your person. How does this person currently view this relationship. Okay. So we have the Eight of Cups for them. We also have the Star for them, as well as the uh, Four of Cups for them. At the bottom of the deck, we do have the World, okay, with the Three of Swords. Okay. Virgo, we're going to focus on you first, and then we'll jump over to your person, okay? Right off the bat, this this kind of looks like two soulmates learning a valuable lesson here, but we're going to get into it in a minute. But let's focus on your overall energy first, and then we'll jump over to your person. Now, in regards to how you're currently viewing this relationship, Virgo, it kind of looks like you kick somebody out of your life, okay? Um, it's like the best way that I can describe what it is that I'm seeing here. For some of you, you could have shared a home with this person. That's definitely a possibility, but I feel like you kick somebody out of your life here okay and with judgment coming out here for you I feel like you had your reasons as to why you decided to kick this person out of your life I don't feel like you woke up one morning and you're just like you know what I don't want to see your face ever again I don't feel like it played out that way I kind of feel like this person gave you every reason to kick them out of your life and it kind of looks like you did just that um, now in regards to how this person's currently viewing this relationship with you uh with the world to the three of swords it, it does kind of look like more than likely you were probably the one to initiate this ending here between you and them and they're extremely hurt by it believe it or not they're extremely hurt by it i kind of feel like they could very well be portraying this image as if they can honestly care less about you and this ending that occurred here between you and them but the truth of the matter is is that this person does care a whole lot i just feel like this person does like a really wonderful job at portraying this image like they honestly don't care right about this ending that occurred here between you and them i gotta be honest even though this relationship or this marriage right even though it looks like it's over and it feels like it's over between the two of you i don't necessarily feel like it is to be completely honest i don't necessarily feel like it is i don't um not only that Virgo, for some of you, you may be consciously aware of this. For others of you, you may not be consciously aware of this. Um, but I kind of feel like this person honestly thought that you were the one. They, only, they honestly thought that you were the one. So the fact that things are unfolding the way that they're currently unfolding here between you and them, they're extremely hurt by it. They're extremely hurt by it. I feel like this person is sitting in a lot of ego and a lot of pride, Virgo. You know, especially because they are showing up in this this energy of acting as if they honestly don't care about this ending that transpired between you and them, but in all actuality, they care a whole lot. And I feel like it does have a lot to do with the fact that this person was extremely emotionally invested when it came down to you and the relationship that they shared with you. Not only that, but this person was basically, you know, looking at you like you were the one for them, okay? Let's keep going. Let's see what else we can get here. All right. How does Virgo currently feel? Come on, how does Virgo currently feel? <clears throat> I was like, Virgo, do you feel anything? Okay, so we have the Four of Wands, okay. We also have the Nine of Pentacles as well as the King of pentacles so in regards to how you're currently feeling about this entire situation a lot of you 
genuinely feel like you're better off without this person and without this connection in your life for some of you you could have felt like this relationship was really really holding you back a whole lot uh, for some of you this relationship could have affected you financially speaking but it just kind of looks like you currently find yourself in a good place and because you currently find yourself in a good place for it's causing you to feel like you're better off without this person this connection in your life because it kind of looks like you're doing 10 times better now that this person is out of your life like i said for some of you this relationship it could have affected you financially how does this person currently feel so we have the two of cups for them we also have the two of wands for them as well as the empress for them the bottom of the deck we do have the world as well as the page of swords okay so in regards to how this person's currently feeling about this relationship they're extremely conflicted on what to do here okay um they don't know if they should just continue to just kind of focus on them and just continue to move forward and move on with their life or if they should gravitate towards you all over again they're a little bit conflicted on what to do when it comes down to this situation uh that they currently find themselves in with you you know i feel like you know this person is kind of perceiving you virgo as somebody who's completely and utterly done with them but the thing is is that they're not completely and utterly done with you right and it has a lot to do with the fact that this person's heart is still very much so in it when it comes down to this relationship that you guys once upon a time had here with one another but at the same exact time because things are over and done with you know i feel like they're kind of telling themselves that they should really just kind of focus on themselves you know versus trying to make this relationship work here between you and them let's look at the two of cups oh that was quick so we have the uh, Ace of Wands to the Death card to clarify uh, the Two of Cups. You know, this is an overall energy of them still wanting this connection that they once upon a time had with you um, in their life. There's also an overall energy of them not only wanting this connection that they once upon a time had with you all over again, Virgo, but it's also like an overall energy of them wanting things to be different this time around. Tell me more about the Empress. Tell me more about the Empress. So we have the strength card for them. We also have the uh, three of cups for them, as well as the ten of wands for them. For those of you who do not know this, the person that's in the strength card is the empress. And they did show up as an empress, regardless of their gender, male or female, does not matter. We all have masculine and feminine energy within us. This person might be slightly older than you. Yeah, they might be slightly older than you. I feel like this person has people around them, like family members and friends that are trying to encourage them to let go of what they once upon a time had with you. So there are, you know, close family members and close friends of theirs that know about this ending that transpired here between you and them and i feel like they're actually encouraging this empress to let you go and what they once upon a time had with you go. Now, it's not necessarily something that they want to do. I mean, we've already kind of established that, Virgo. I don't feel like letting you go and what they once upon a time had with you. Um, no, I'm not getting that. You know, I, I no, I'm not getting that. Because I kind of feel like where, you know, the relationship that they once upon a time had with you, I don't feel like it's something that they actually want to let go of. I just kind of feel like they currently find themselves being forced to basically let you go. And that could have a lot to do with the fact that you initiated an ending here um, between you and them. So even though they're being encouraged by close family members and close friends to just simply let you go and move forward and move on with their life, it's not something that they want to do, hence why this person has a 10 of wands attached to them. You know, it's just basically insinuating that the process, right, of letting you go and what they once upon a time had with you go it's extremely hard for them. It's extremely hard for them because of the simple fact that they still want you and the relationship that they once upon a time had with you in their life, okay? Even though they're being encouraged by like close family members and close friends to let you go. All right, what actions? All right, so we have the devil for you. We also have the Two of Pentacles for you, as well as the Wheel of Fortune for you. Okay, let's look at your person. What actions? Okay, 
So we have the Two of Pentacles for them, with the Three of Swords for them, as well as the Hangman for them. Okay, so in regards to how you plan on moving forward, Virgo, I kind of see you in this overall energy of trying to stay optimistic here when it comes down to your life after this, this, this relationship, right? Um, I do see you trying to stay optimistic here, but here's the thing, Virgo. I kind of feel like for some of you, you spend a lot of time thinking about this person and how this relationship affected you. And I kind of feel like it, it is kind of hard, right? For you to stay optimistic here when it comes down to your life now. And I feel like it has a lot to do with the fact that you're just so focused on the past and what happened here between you and them in the past and how this relationship affected you, you know, things of that nature. You know, this is also kind of like an overall energy of kind of like um, regret, I would say, coming from you. I feel like you do harness a lot of regret here when it comes down to involving yourself with this person um, because you clearly saw how this relationship and your involvement with this person um, actually affected you on a very very deep level like I said for some of you this relationship could have affected you so badly to the point where it could have affected uh, your money in the process of it all that's not going to resonate for all of you but I am kind of getting that for some of you that your involvement with this person your relationship with this person yeah it could have affected you uh, financially speaking, but there's just like this overall energy of regret, Virgo, ultimately coming from you. You regret getting involved with this person. You regret letting this person into your life. Um, you regret a lot of things when it comes down to your relationship with this person, but it is coming from a place of, I regret getting involved with them because look at how my involvement with them affected me. Like it does kind of have that type of feel to it. Um, but yeah, Virgo, I kind of see you doing that. I kind of see you focusing on what happened here between you and them and how it affected you. But I don't necessarily feel like you're taking time to honestly acknowledge how all of this is actually benefiting you. How all of this is actually benefiting you. Because you currently find yourself in a much better place than you did when you were involved with them. And I don't necessarily feel like you're taking time to honestly notice that. You're actually in a much better place now that this person's not in your life anymore. But the more you focus on, you know, the past and how this person affected you and how they turned your whole life upside down and things like that, the more you're going to make yourself blind to how all of this is actually playing out in your favor. Because all of this is actually playing out in your favor. You just don't, you just don't see that, Virgo. You just don't see that, but I feel like one day, very, very soon, you definitely will because this entire situation, Virgo, it is playing out in your favor. The fact that this person is no longer in your life, um, it is going to start to bring a lot of abundance and stability into your life. The fact that this person is no longer in your life is going to cause you uh, to feel more at peace because I don't necessarily feel like you had any sort of peace when you were with this person. There's a lot of good things that are coming out of this entire situation here for you. I just don't feel like you're taking time to actually acknowledge that because you're so focused on everything that they put you through and how all of this affected you, you know, things of that nature. Now, in regards to how this person plans on moving forward, okay? We have the uh, hangman, we got the two of pentacles, and then we also have the uh, three of swords at the bottom of the deck. Uh, we do have the fool here for them. This is kind of like an overall energy of them trying to basically let you go, Virgo. And it's a very challenging and difficult thing for this person to do, um, you know, as far as letting you go and what they once upon a time had with you go. Um, but I do feel like this person is forcing themselves at this point in time to just simply let you go. And I feel like it has a lot to do with what I already mentioned. You know, it kind of looks like you actually initiated this ending here between you and them. So I feel like this person's under the impression, you know, that you don't want anything to do with them. They're also feeling extremely rejected too. The four of cups coming out here for them. Yeah, they're, they're feeling extremely rejected here. Um, by you initiating this ending here between you and them, cause them to feel extremely rejected and extremely unwanted by you. And that in itself really does hurt this person. Um, 
not only that, but I feel like this person, you know, is, you know, under the impression that you're done with them and you want nothing to do with them. Um, so it kind of looks like they're kind of being forced to move forward and move on uh, with their life, Virgo. But yeah, I kind of feel like this person's really trying their hardest to just simply let this go and not take action in your direction or try to bring this relationship back together all over again. All right, let's see the outcome ultimately um, when it comes down to what's going to happen here between you and them. What's the outcome here between Virgo and this person to the right of me? Okay. So we have the Eight of Wands. We also have the Eight of Cups. And then we also have the uh, Six of Swords. As far as like the outcome is concerned, Virgo, um, I, I kind of see the two of you just deciding to keep your distance here. Uh, from one another. I see you keeping your distance from them. I see them keeping their distance from you. Um, this person might even live at a distance from you because I'm also kind of getting that as well. But yeah, I just kind of see you keeping your distance from them and them keeping their distance from you. I do believe at some point, Virgo, there will come a point in time where you guys will cross paths with one another all over again. And this moment can happen a few weeks from now, a few months from now, possibly a few years from now. But I do see the two of you eventually crossing paths with one another. I do see that happening. Okay, so we have the Hermit. Come on. With the Knight of Swords. And then we also have the uh, Six of Wands. Yeah. I do eventually see the two of you coming back together all over again and crossing paths with one another. Um, but I kind of feel like it might be probably like a few months from now, to be completely honest. I feel like, Virgo, when you do cross paths with this person all over again, something about you has drastically changed. I'm not entirely sure what it is about you that has drastically changed, to be completely honest. I feel like this person has remained the same. I feel like this person has remained the same. I don't feel like when you guys do cross paths with one another, anything drastically changed about this person. Um, I kind of see this person, for the most part, remaining the same. But there's something about you that has drastically changed. Yeah, there's something about you that has drastically changed. You guys may not even end up with one another. Again, that's definitely a possibility, and I feel like it has a lot to do with the fact that something about you has drastically changed to the point where you're not going to find yourself resonating with this person anymore. Maybe once upon a time, you really did resonate with them. Maybe once upon a time, you know, you guys had a lot of things in common, um, but I don't necessarily feel like it's going to feel the same way. Again, when you guys do cross paths with one another, and it has a lot to do with the fact that you have drastically changed somehow, some way. You have drastically changed. And that could be as simple as, I don't know, like maybe what you want, right, within a man or a woman has drastically changed to the point where, you know, you end up crossing paths with this person all over again. You may not feel drawn to them um, like you did in the past because they just don't fit what it is that you're looking for anymore within like a man or a woman, you know, that could very well be the case. But I feel like there's, more, it, I feel like it, there's more to that. I feel like there's more to that. I don't feel like it's just, you know, your, how do I say this? No, I feel like it's more to that. I feel like, Virgo, for some of you, when you do cross paths with this person, you could find yourself, um, you could find yourself in a much better place financially speaking. So this could definitely represent that you're coming into a lot of success, Virgo. It could definitely uh, represent that. But yeah, I feel like something about you has drastically changed, but in a positive way, not in a negative way, in a very, very positive way. But I feel like this person has, you know, continued to remain the same. In other words, I kind of feel like through this journey, you're growing and evolving a lot while they're continuing to remain the same. Nothing has really changed about this person when you do cross paths with them all over again. But a lot of things have changed about you. And that could be honestly anything, you know, that could be that you're, that could be that you're more successful, right? When you cross paths with this person all over again. That can mean that you're more established than you were when you were with them, you know? Like, there's something about you that has drastically changed in a positive way. And when you do cross paths with this person all over again, you're probably not going to find yourself feeling drawn to them or even resonating with them anymore. And it has a lot to do with the fact that you're going to notice that in this whole entire time that you guys have 
been separated from one another, nothing has drastically changed about this person. It kind of looks like this person continues to just remain the same while you continue to grow and evolve um, as an individual. I feel like, Virgo, you're learning a valuable lesson through this entire experience, okay? Um, and so are they. You know, I feel like the valuable lesson that you're learning here on your end is to not continue to attach yourself to people who are just going to hold you back. That's like the valuable lesson that you need to take out of your experience here with this person. Because I feel like you attach yourself to somebody who was holding you back a little bit too much to the point where, yeah, it did start to affect you a great deal. Um, and this is why, you know, you went through this experience to be able to kind of learn and identify the people who are here to help you grow and evolve as an individual versus the people who are just simply here to take from you and hold you back. It kind of looks like this person was either here to just simply take from you or just hold you back. But it kind of looks like now that you went through this experience, you're going to be far more selective of who you choose to uh, surround yourself with. If they're not going to help you grow and evolve as an individual, you don't have time for them, right? Um, for this person, the valuable lesson that they can take from this entire experience has a lot to do with them valuing and appreciating a good thing when they got it right this is that type of person that waits until they lose a good thing to recognize that they have a good thing um, this entire experience is just it's just to help this person uh, learn how to be able to identify a good thing when they see it instead of waiting until they actually lose it to then recognize it, you know? Because I feel like that's kind of what this person's experiencing on their end. They're feeling like they lost a really, really good thing and there's nothing they can do about it, right? Um, had this person recognize that they had a good thing when they had it, this entire situation more than likely wouldn't have played out the way that it did. Um, so we got two soulmates here that are learning a valuable lesson. I don't see you guys coming back together. Yes, I do see you guys crossing paths with one another at some point, but I'm gonna be honest, Virgo, this person might find themselves still feeling drawn to you, but I just don't see you feeling drawn to them because it's not somebody that you resonate uh, with anymore. You guys are two very, very different people, okay? Um, you guys might have your you know, similarities and stuff like that, but you guys are like kind of polar opposites at this point when it comes down to, when it comes down to like, how I say this because Virgo you come off to me as somebody who wants to grow and evolve as an individual while this person is perfectly fine remaining the same does that make sense hopefully it does and this is why you know things kind of went south the way that it did because as you're trying to grow and evolve as an individual you got somebody here who's kind of dragging you down and holding you back right um and that's because this person is a-okay with you know where they're at in life and there's nothing wrong with where this person's at in life but to be with somebody like you virgo you would have to just you would just have to be with somebody who's all about growing and evolving um spiritually emotionally you know things of that nature um you can't attach yourself to somebody who's not about growing and evolving you just can't because it's going to cause you to feel like they're holding you back it's going to cause you to feel like um you know they're wasting your time etc cetera, etc cetera. so yeah, I just don't see you feeling drawn to this energy anymore when you guys do cross paths with one another because it will happen. That's kind of besides the point here. Um, you will eventually cross paths with this person. I just don't see you wanting to get back with them. Um, if anything, they might want to get back with you, but I, I don't see you wanting to get back with them. So it kind of looks like no matter how you want to slice and dice this entire situation, um, they kind of have to let you go at this point because even when you guys do cross paths with one another all over again, whether that's a few days from now, a few weeks from now, a few months from now, a few years from now, you're not going to find yourself feeling drawn to this type of person anymore because this is not somebody who's about growing and evolving as an individual. And you already kind of know that dealing with someone like this, it's just not going to benefit you in any way, shape, or form. It's not worth your time and or investment, and you see that now, all right? So that's what I have for you, Virgo. Hopefully the reading helped. Hopefully it resonated. Also, too, for those of you who want to follow me on Instagram, the link is in the description box down below, and I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye.